and we go, oh my God, <laughs> because it's the subtext, isn't it? It's, what, it's, it's about what's not being said. Now, there's a cliche for you. It's not about what's being said, it's about what's not being said. Okay? Good to know. Academically, that's a great thing to put in a book and you can read it and go, cool, I get it. But how do you perform that? <clears throat> Here's how you perform it. The text is the tip of the iceberg. The rest of the iceberg, under the water, which is like 80, 90% under the water, is what we want, what we really want to say, what we're actually trying to say, what we're thinking, what's actually going on. So, it, and it's never, it's never what we say. Never, ever, ever. Because the tip of the iceberg is just the text, and the rest of it is down here. So, if I say, how are you today? I can mean, I have no interest how you are today. I can mean, I hate you. I can mean, oh my God, I'm desperately in love with you. Or I can mean, oh, she's here. I really want to be watching football. <laughs> but I can never mean, how are you? I can never just mean, how are you? So, if the text is even more important, meaning the text is, I love you more than life itself, then if that's all you mean, I'm sorry, it's dead. As Declan Donlan says in The Actor and the Target, which is my acting Bible, um, he says, expressing ourselves through, uh, expressing how we feel through words is like knitting a scarf with tree trunks. It's, it's so clumsy, it's so impossible to be able to do that the fact that we even try is what makes it interesting. 